Welcome to the PRTG installation tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to configure the PRTG network monitor to send SMS alerts through PageGate. The first step in the process is to install PageGate. If you haven't already installed PageGate, please pause this video and click on the first link to install PageGate in Windows XP, Server 2000, or Server 2003, and click on the second link to install PageGate on Windows Vista, Windows 7, or Server 2008. The second step in the process is to configure PageGate's GetASCII module. If you haven't already configured the GetASCII module, please pause this video and click on the link to go through the steps in the basic GetASCII video tutorial. The third step is to configure carriers, recipients, and groups in the PageGate admin. If you haven't configured any of your carriers, recipients, or groups, Please pause this video and visit the video tutorial section of our website for more information on how to do that. The final step in preparing to integrate PRTG with PageGate is to switch PageGate's run style from an application to a Windows service. To do this, please pause this video and go through the steps in the Switching Run Styles tutorial. Once you have PageGate configured, you'll need to install and configure PRTG. After downloading the installation file for the PRTG Network Monitor, double-click on it to begin the installation. After selecting your language from the drop-down list, click on OK. Click on Next on the first step. After carefully reading the End User License Agreement, select I Accept the Agreement and click on Next. After selecting your preferred installation folder, Click on Next to begin the installation process. Once the installation completes, click on the Choose button to select the edition of PRTG you wish to use and follow the PRTG prompts. Upon completion of the PRTG prompts, the PRTG Network Monitor Basic Information Tutorial should begin. Read each panel carefully as they contain useful information, and click on Next when you're finished reading them. The first time the PRTG Network Monitor runs, it will bring up this web browser login page. If this is the first time you've run the PRTG Network Monitor, click on the default login option. The first step in telling PRTG how to communicate with PageGate is to configure PageGate to monitor the PRTG output folder. To do so, you'll want to run the PageGate admin. Once in the PageGate admin, Go into the Interfaces, Get ASCII, Settings section. Click on the ellipsis button next to the polling directory. You'll then want to browse to the C colon backslash Program Files, PRTG Network Monitor, Notifications, EXE folder. Select it and then left click on OK. Then click on Apply and close the PageGate admin. The next step is to configure a notification or series of notifications in PRTG. To do this, run the PRTG Network Monitor. In the Network Monitor, go under the Setup section. And in the Setup section, click on Notifications. In the Notifications section, click on the Add New Notification button. The first thing you'll want to do is give the notification a name and then review and configure the various options for your new notification. Once you've configured the basic information for your notification, put a check in the Execute Program option. Click on the drop-down arrow next to Program File and select the Send Page 32.exe option. Then click in the Parameter section. In the Parameters section, the first variable has to be the name of a recipient or group as it appears in the PageGate admin. In this example, I'll be using the Test recipient. The second variable needs to be the name of the sender. Whatever you type as the second variable will show up as who sent the message. In this example, I'll be using NotePage as my sender variable. Every other parameter here is specified by PRTG. For a full list of parameters and their explanations, please visit the PRTG support website. After reviewing the notification, click on Save. 
Now that your new notification is in the list, let's run a test. But before we run the test, I want you to run the PageGate monitor. Once the PageGate monitor is running, go back into the PRTG network monitor and click on the test option next to your new notification. Switch back to the PageGate monitor and you should see PageGate accept the message from PRTG and then deliver it. This concludes the tutorial on how to install and configure PRTG to integrate with PageGate. For more tutorials, including how to install the PageGate server and configure the GitASCII module, please visit our website www.notepage.net.